Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be ranking the best small forwards in NBA 2K24, my team, here on this tier list. Admittedly, I only grabbed about 20 of the best small forwards in my team, so if I left some guys off this list that you'd like to hear my thoughts on, feel free to leave a comment and let me know, and let me know which, which small forwards y'all are running right now in my team as well. I'd love to know who y'all are rocking out with. But before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 16,000 subscriber mark on the channel less than 400 subscribers away trying to hit that by the end of the year uh would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it gonna start off with andre kirilink was the first small forward on this list and i think he is still an a tier small forward because of how impactful he can be on the defensive end of the court um one of the very best defensive cards in the game an elite perimeter and interior lockdown defender he's not an elite slasher and his release is fine he will green open but he doesn't have special sigs or anything along those lines and absolutely release amazing shooting or playmaking badges or anything he is mainly just a uh defensive card but he's an absolutely incredible defender and small forward that is super duper valuable so i think he's definitely one of the best cards in this list with only 20 small forwards on this list uh i actually think this is probably going to be harder than normal i'm gonna have to put some of these guys in lower tiers and a guy like brandon ingram who has a bad release and is poor defensively is one of the worst cards in this list for sure i truly do believe he's d tier especially if i'm going this tight with how many cards i have on this list so with the best of the best he is one of the worst of the best i guess so i would definitely say d tier for bi considering he's not good defensively and his release is pretty baited uh, carmelo has also a is also a huge defensive liability but offensively i think he's really really good uh, elite level release offensively and debug dribble style as well is very very nice uh, i do think he's a really good card but I feel like he's got to go D tier because how bad he is defensively. I'm going to be honest. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't know if there's four or five guys on this list worse than Melo. I don't think so because I think this Glenn Rice probably is better. Glenn Rice has a better release than Melo. I'll say that. Um, maybe not a better release, but as good of a release defensively. Well, the badges aren't there in Glenn Rice either. He's also not a great defender. And then I know he's a great, great shooter and he's got an awesome release, but Melo does give you more as a shot creator as well. Neither of them can really defend. I think I'll go Glenn Rice D tier and Melo C tier for right now, but Melo might wind up getting moved down to D tier. I don't think James Worthy honestly can go higher than C tier at small forward because he doesn't have anchor. He doesn't have brick wall. He doesn't have clamps. So he doesn't have some of the most important badges in the game. He does have a very good release and he's an elite athlete, but I think he's better at power forward than he is a small forward considering I really want those defensive badges more at the small forward position, the ability to be that elite lockdown defender. And James Worthy does not give me that. He gives me more of the stretch ability and the athleticism of a power forward. And for now at small forward, that's not what I'm really looking for. I think Jason Tatum's just a little bit outdated. He's got a really nice release. He's a solid defender and he can shot create a little bit but he's not insanely elite in any specific area right now i do believe uh we're probably going to see a new jason tatum very very soon in fact i say this knowing that it is very possible that we're going to see an upgraded jason tatum actually tomorrow as y'all are seeing this video i'm recording this on wednesday so leaks haven't come out i have no idea what's coming yet but would not be surprised to so see a diamond jason tatum in the uh tis the season present set on friday so we'll have to wait and see on that i think jeremy grant's actually very very good as well i think he's definitely an a tier small forward i'm a fan of this jeremy Grant card. He's got a good release. He shot creates. Okay. Um, he's going to defend very, very solidly as well. He's a well-rounded small forward option. I think he's a really good card. I think um, Jimmy Butler is S tier. I'm actually including Jimmy in S small forward because I, I think in a lot of lineups, he fits that small forward right now with the way that people are running their teams, especially considering guys like Kobe are coming in soon. But people already have cards like Artest and Iggy and Paul George and Nick Young running their small forward positions. A guy like Jimmy Butler can play small forward or can play small forward when those guys are running shooting guard, I should say, and be a really, really good option at small forward position. He's an elite free card. He's got pretty good size. Even for a small forward, his release is good. He shot creates quite well, and he's an exceptional defender. So I decided to include him in small forward position. I think that is fair to do. Kawhi is pretty much pure three and D. Doesn't give you elite slashing or shot creation ability at all, though they can do a little bit, I guess. But he's a very good defender, at least on the perimeter. Interior-wise, pretty darn good as well, I will admit. And then, and then shooting-wise, he's got a great release. I think he's a really good card. I think he still holds down the B tier but I don't think he quite goes A anymore. KD has to go S. I, I, I still think he has to. As, as much as I 
don't think he's as complete as he needs to be. Most people who have KD have him completed out a lot more with a bunch of extra good badges. And if you have his defense souped up to where it needs to be, he's already an elite shooter. He does have incredible size, a small forward. He's a versatile defender, especially with those souped up badges. So KD can still be one of the very best small forwards in the entire game in a lot of situations. Kyle Kuzma is probably back of B tier. Offensively quite good at small forward. Good shot creator. Great slasher. Really nice shooter with a good release. Defensively pretty mediocre though. And I think at best you'd have to go B tier for Kyle Kuzma. Honestly, I don't like this Kuzma card very much. I'm going to go C and I'm moving Tatum up and I don't care because Tatum defends and Kuzma doesn't. Um, I think Odom has to go S tier. He's actually pretty good. Like, I understand the card is a huge disappointment, and don't get me wrong, he is a massive disappointment. But that doesn't mean that he's not one of the five best guys on this list, and I think the five best guys in this list have to go in S tier. I think Odom is as good or better than Kevin Durant. Uh, there's only two guys in this list that I think are definitely better than him at the small forward position, especially if he's badged out. And one of those guys is LeBron James. He's the best small forward in the game, maybe almost a tier to his own not quite because his release truly is not that great but outside of that he shot creates pretty well he's an insane defender and an absolutely elite slasher so capable enough shooting is good enough for me considering how good he is everywhere else on the court that's an easy s tier and yet another easy s tier honestly is luol dang he is so complete as well badge wise even as a base card can defend on the interior and the perimeter he's 6 9 with a cash release and pretty decent playmaking ability, although honestly the playmaking isn't as crucial at small forward, I really like that card as well. Another card I love is Michael Beasley because his release is exceptional. He's one of the most incredible offensive cards in the game. At a level offensively, the guys like Kuzma, uh, B.I. and even Carmelo really can't reach offensively. While defensively, he actually plays better than those guys do as well for whatever reason. I'm not sure why because the defensive stats and badges aren't that good, but Beasley low-key competes on D. And I'm really not totally sure why, but he's a hooper, and I think he's a really good card. P.J. Tucker is a solidly B-tier small forward. I understand he's only 6'5", but he's got an amazing release, and he's a really, really good versatile defensive wing, including badges like anchor, brick wall, clamps, interceptor, etc. He's got pretty much everything you need at the small forward position, and his release is absolute butter. He is an easy B tier choice. A tier for Rudy Gay for sure. I don't quite have him S tier simply because he's not the most elite defensively, um, but I do think he's basically just a slightly better version of Michael Beasley, to be completely honest. Probably a pretty fair comparison for Rudy Gay to Michael Beasley. Uh, they're close to each other, but I think Rudy Gay gives you a little more defensively and is pretty darn, pretty much what Beasley is offensively, so I would give Rudy a high A tier spot. Sharif Abdul Rahim gets a high B tier spot. He is awesome. Super versatile. Can guard on the perimeter and the interior. He's got good size of 6'9". Nice release. One of the best budget cards in the game, but still not not insanely complete stat and badge wise to the level of some of the guys higher than him so he still goes b tier i think sean marion stinks especially at small forward i really do believe he is one of the very worst cards in this list i'm gonna go d tier for him for sure he doesn't have clamps doesn't have anchor doesn't have a great release even though it is fast it's not good and uh shot creation is very limited on that card as well not a fan and then kukoc also kukoc is better at power forward uh but at small forward he just doesn't have the defensive badges he's not complete enough he's not a good enough shot creator overall just not an elite level card at the small forward position either so as a whole I think this is a pretty good list. Um, I'd be interested to hear y'all's thoughts, to be completely honest. I could move a guy out of S tier and move a guy down from every other tier as well to make it more even, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to leave it the way that it is because I think this is pretty fair. So with that being said, that is going to do it for this video. I hope y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace.